Hello. Today, Storytime with Dustin brings you Bad Drawer by Seth Fishman and Friends. So here's the thing. I'm a bad drawer. <laughs> like, real bad. I've practiced and practiced, but it's like my hands can't hear my brain. Don't believe me? <laughs> All right. Let me show you. Wait, you're not going to laugh, are you? But don't laugh, okay? Okay? See? The only thing I know how to draw is a pine tree, but that's because it's basically a scribble. I could play soccer pretty okay, and I make the best cookies. And I know I'm good at math. I'm just a really bad drawer. But the thing is, I have this adventure in my head. It's about a mouse named Bailey, who rides a half-cat, half-bird named Catbird, and how they save the mouse kingdom from invading wand-wielding dragons. Check it out! Well... Um, that's not exactly how I imagined it. Arg! I just wish I could draw like some of my friends. Tilly, who's always doodling in journals, is so good at drawing amazing, enormous skyscrapers and scenery. She'd create such incredible worlds for Bailey. Oh, and Jessica who's always dancing and skipping and awesomely spells her name with an X and decorates her own outfits. She'd do the best costumes for the mice. My other friend Jessica can draw letters almost like they are museum pieces. She could be the kingdom's calligrapher. And Anna, who's always listening to music I have never heard before, creates the realest-looking birds and most amazing cats. Also, Armand's always designing his own toys to play with. What if he made Bailey's hot air balloon? Even my little brother Ethan draws dragons better than me. See? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. What if I ask them to help me, and in exchange I bake them some cookies? With our powers combined, we could make the coolest cat bird. That way I can actually show you how Bailey steals the wand from the dragon chief and conjures an incredible hot air balloon that cat bird uses to fly everyone from the mouse kingdom Away to safety. Maybe my stories are good enough. I just need some help telling them. All I had to do was ask. Now my friends and I can share our story with the world. Just like Bailey and Catbird would want it. That's magnificent. Got the hot air balloon ship. That spectacular dragon drawn by a younger sibling, the Mouse Kingdom, that's more magical than Disney's house. I like that Seattle-esque city nestled in the forest. This is a beautiful illustration, full of a book full of beautiful illustrations. And I actually, oh, pardon me. Now Catbird needs a theme song, but there's only one problem. I'm a really bad singer. Oh, <laughs> well, that might mean that there's more books coming up in this series. With lots of help from my friends, Jessica Bagley, Armand Balthazar, Anna Bond, Travis Foster, Jessica Heisch, Tilly Walden, Ethan Young, and lots of cookies. I'm going to give this five stars. I really enjoyed that. And submit. Well, anyway, I'll write that out later.
This was a lot of fun. Let me switch over here and say goodbye and implore that you subscribe. If you've made it this far, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified about the next time I post something. I don't know if it notifies you about live videos. Maybe it does. In any case, you could always watch this on live. I think that's how most people enjoy these. Have a wonderful time. I can't wait to read to you next time. And, and you know, if anybody happens to find, I've lost this little, um, what do you call it, like a little Pikachu, is what I think is what his name was, a little Pokemon figurine. I can't find it anywhere. If anybody knows where it is, uh, let me know. And, um, you know, for next time, I'd like to show it to you. It's pretty cool. All right. Have a great day. Thank you so much.